question again. My question is to the Prime Minister. Last night, National Cabinet met to, uh, to agree to a new national skills agreement. How will this agreement be good for Australians, good for the economy and good for our future? Yeah. Call to the Prime Minister. I thank the member for Gilmore for her question. And last night, National Cabinet reached a landmark national skills agreement. And I pay tribute yeah. to the minister yeah. for working with state ministers uh, for skills. Uh, over the last year in order to deliver this, which arose out of the Jobs and Skills Summit that we held here last year. This is a commitment with $12.5 billion over five years to transform and expand access to skills and training. It includes $214 million to close the gap in skills between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. The agreement delivers the skills people need to find a good job and the workforce that Australia needs to build a better future. And I thank the premiers and chief ministers who I have met with over the last fortnight in order to land this landmark deal. And indeed, it's the first national skills agreement since 2012. It's, it, it's like history disappeared and just stopped during 2013 and 2022. These investments will deliver skills in priority areas right across the country, as well as meet local needs. We'll work together with the states to deliver TAFE centres of excellence, because we know we need more collaboration between the universities and the vet sector. We will invest in skills because it's good for Australians. It's good for the individuals. So students I met this morning are working on, on EV maintenance and on electric vehicles who will have jobs, good, secure jobs, into the future. And it was fantastic to meet uh, those Australians, either young Australians or, in one case, someone reskilling in order to secure a good job for the future. Now, investing in skills is a national priority for us. The National Skills Agreement builds on the work we have done over the last 18 months, delivering, first of all, we promised 180,000 fee-free TAFE places and we have delivered 215,000 of them. We will deliver another 300,000 fee-free TAFE places from January next year. We have established Jobs and Skills Australia. We are improving foundation skills delivery because we know one in five adults have alarming gaps in literacy, numeracy and digital literacy. We are lifting apprenticeship completion rates. Our investments mean more workers in the care sector, in aged care and childcare, more workers in clean energy, more workers in construction and more workers in manufacturing. Good for individuals and good for our economy. Yeah. 